This video will demonstrate measuring the torso. The video will cover three areas, basic measuring procedure, measuring requirements for style variations, and a few common options and features. Section one is basic measuring procedure. Record each measurement on the BioConcepts torso measurement chart. Refer to the measuring manual for an explanation of the shorthand notation system for measurements recorded in inches. Measurements in centimeters are welcome. Simply record in decimal notation. It is critical to look up the required measurements before you start measuring. We will illustrate the basic torso measurement procedure with measurements for a number 31 sleeved vest. When measuring the torso, the measurement designations are the same for a male adult and a small child of either gender. Adult females require additional measurements and slight but important measurement variations. When measuring for a vest, measurements capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D, capital G, capital H, and lowercase b, c, and d are required. When measuring an adult female for a vest, measure the torso circumference over the breasts and record the self-reported brassiere cup size. Use BioConcepts retractable tape for circumference measurements and remember, never pull the tapes snugly. The capital A measurement is the circumference of the neck. The capital B measurement is the circumference of the torso at the axillae. Make sure you make a mark on the anterior torso where the capital B circumference is taken. The capital D measurement is the circumference at the waist. The waist is defined as the level at which the patient wears pants, panties, briefs, or skirts. Make sure you make a mark on the anterior torso where the capital D circumference is taken. For the adult male or child of either gender, the capital C measurement is halfway between the circumferences of capital B and capital D. Make sure you make a mark on the anterior torso where the capital C circumference is taken. For the adult female, the capital C measurement is the torso circumference directly below the breasts. Also, take a circumference of the torso over the breasts. Record the circumference and the patient's self-reported brassiere cup size on the measurement chart. The capital G measurement is the circumference of the axilla taken distal to acromion. Take this measurement with the patient's arms down. Put the tape on the outside of the acromion when taking this measurement. The optional capital K measurement is the circumference below the waist, only if it's necessary to extend a vest below the waist. Make sure you make a mark on the anterior torso where the capital K circumference is taken. For surface measurements, start by locating point Z, which is located at the base of the neck at the top of the bulge of the trapezius. The little b measurement is the distance from point Z to the capital B circumference measurement. The little c measurement is the distance from point Z to capital C circumference measurement, which for an adult male or child of either gender is halfway between the capital B and capital D or waist circumference measurements. For an adult female, the little c measurement is the distance between point Z to the capital C circumference measurement directly between and below the breasts. The little d measurement is the distance from point Z to the capital D circumference measurement measured straight down the anterior torso between the breasts for an adult female. The little k measurement is an optional measurement the distance from the capital D circumference measurement or circumference at the waist down to the capital K measurement if the vest is extended below the waist. Section two of the video is measuring requirements for style variations. When measuring for a full body brief or body suit, take all of the torso measurements previously mentioned with the exceptions of capital K and little k. Lower torso circumference measurements capital E and capital F are approximately evenly spaced between the capital D circumference or waist measurement and point X, the fold of the buttocks. Measure the space between the waist and point X and divide by three. Then make a mark on one of the posterior buttocks three inches below capital D, and again at six inches below capital D. 
take your capital E circumference at the first mark and your capital F circumference six inches below the waist. The capital I measurement is the circumference at the top of the left leg. The capital J measurement is the circumference at the top of the right leg. For surface measurements for a body brief or body suit, locate point Z at the base of the neck at the top of the bulge of the trapezius. The little e measurement is the distance between point Z to circumference E, just below the waist, measured straight down the back. The little f measurement is the distance between point Z to circumference F, which is located just below circumference E. The little g measurement is the distance from point Z to point X, located at the fold of the buttocks. When measuring for a belly band, use circumference measurement C for the top of the garment and circumference measurement D for the bottom of the garment. These measurements can be as far apart or as close together as needed. Just measure the height and write it in the additional instructions. Section 3 of the video is a few common options and features. Here are a few of our most commonly ordered garment styles and features. Keep in mind we have many, many more options and features of every style of garment. Consult the measuring manual for more information. This example of a number 30A sleeveless vest shown here has breast cuffs. The zipper has a Velcro zipper stop at the top and a pull ring on the zipper. If these or any other options are desired, they must be specified on the measurement chart. This example of a number 31 is a sleeved vest with a lining and expansion panels with reinforced tabs to overlap with lower extremity garments that would attach with Velcro on the inside of the vest to the Velcro on the outside of a pair of pants. The zipper is in the back and the neck is scooped. This tank top style number 30A sleeveless vest has breast inserts and a Velcro tab over the zipper to keep it from opening. The zipper also has a hook and eyes to help with closure. The zipper is in the front, default for an adult patient. There is a Velcro tab and a pull ring on the zipper and breast inserts. Here is an example of a number 26, a body brief. Shown here are draped axilla linings, which make the armholes much more comfortable, a snap crotch, and breast inserts instead of the default breast cups. Item 25, a sleeved body brief. This example has a front zipper with a Velcro tab at the neck. There are mesh gussets in the armpits in addition to the zipper tab and pull ring. Number 34B, a belly band, has no need to go higher than the axilla or no lower than the lower waist. Belly bands do not come with zippers. The one shown here is optional.